Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to Robin Reed Multivitamins. <laughs> right, you've probably seen it on social media. People have been sending me stuff all night and all morning. Canelo Alvarez versus Jason Quigley. Will it happen? Well, Golden Boy are in talks, aren't they? We Quigley's management team. Uh, so let's do a breakdown of the fight. Is it a dangerous fight? Yeah. Will somebody get hurt? Mm, yeah, no. We said that about Rocky Fielding, but as soon as he got tapped, he were out of there one of his check. And I, I think that's what's going to happen if Quigley fights Canelo Alvarez. In my opinion, opinion Quigley great things were predicted for him just like Paul Smith I mean Paul Smith smig a smig whatever you want to call him he were the gonna be the next big thing wasn't he at middleweight Paul Smith but it didn't it didn't work out in pros for him did it it didn't work out his best win with Tony Dodson now Jason Quigley wheeled silver I'm wheeled amateur silver which is like massive in it in amateur boxing he did really well he should have gone to olympics in 2016 but he turned pro now i've heard the stories you know that what he did in amateurs and that amateur boxing and professional boxing are two different things canelo alvarez when he was 15 year, years of age he wasn't going around boxing for free in in clubs like mick wales in 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 barnsley no, 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 Canelo Alvarez, age 15, were fighting men. Probably like Gwyn Whale were at that age. But the point I want to make is, the, the, the different ends of the careers, aren't they? I personally think that, is it Sheer Management Group or the backers behind Quigley? I think they've looked at Quigley and they've thought, do you know what, we'll get our investment back. I could be wrong, but that's what I'd do. That's what I'd do. And that's what Dennis were going to do with Liam Cameron when he got in Commonwealth and IBF rank number 12. We were going to look to get his money back. And that's how it works when you invest in people. Now, if they get the Canelo Alvarez fight, they've won lottery, haven't they? They've won a couple of Thunderballs, haven't they? On lottery, so that's good, isn't it? But he shouldn't be in there with Canelo. I mean, look. Canelo, 53 wins, one defeat against Mayweather, two draws. Jason Quigley, 19 and 1. But bet nobody, none of you, we are checking box rack, can tell me who his best win is. His best win, in my opinion, is Glenn Tapia. Right? Who's he? Best win for Canelo was his last fight, last November, Kovalev. £175. Don't forget, this is a kid that started out as a as a welterweight. The four-weight world champion. Super welter. Or light middle, whatever you want to call it. Middle, super middle. And light heavyweight. Jason Quigley's not got a belt, has he? He's not got... He's probably English level. He's probably English level. He's probably at the level of Marcus Morrison. Now, Marcus Morrison going in there with Canelo and Gallagher would take that fight in a heartbeat, wouldn't he? Old Tesco Joe would be able to buy Tesco with, with his cut. But oh, Canelo Alvarez has beat 16 former world champions, current world champions and future world champions. 16. And he's took seven undefeated records. Quigley's beat none. No former, no current, no future world champions. And he's not took an undefeated record yet. It, they shouldn't even be in, in the same ring. They shouldn't even be mentioned in the same breath as each other. Quigley should sneak into Arena if he wants to watch Canelo. And he shouldn't even ask him for an autograph. I mean, I know I'm being harsh here, but... This kamikaze matchmaking is going to get people killed or lose the brain cells we've all seen we've all seen dave allen haven't we talking like he's got a tennis ball in his mouth do you know what i mean it, it, i don't want to see fighters bashed up i want to see them brought on correctly that's what i want to see but 
you know, I look at I look at the last two wins, Kovalev and Jacobs, right? For Canelo. Cordera and Marin. 372 on box wreck, the last one, and the one before, 334. So he's fighting guys ranked well over 300 in the rankings. And got two wins, stopped them both, that's good. And then go fight Canelo. Before that he got beat by Turiano Johnson. When Turiano Johnson stopped Quigley, everybody in the boxing community said, He's just another fighter at amateur level who can't trans transfer it into pros, a bit like uh, Tom Stoker. Who were, who were a top, top, top amateur, but he couldn't do it in pros. And Paul Smith, top, top amateur, couldn't do it in pros. Well, they won a British didn't he, against Dodson, but Paul Smith should have won a world title, shouldn't he? We promise he showed. And it didn't work out for him, as I've said earlier, but, you know... This is this is just this is just craziness. This it's absolute craziness. Quigley against Canelo. It's even crazier than Rocky Fielding. At least Rocky Fielding had gone through levels, hasn't he? But this is just. It's, I don't know what's what to make of it. I don't know. It's uh, Oscar De La Hoya should be ashamed putting Canelo in with. Uh, this kid here. Canelo's never been stopped. Kovalev threw everything at him and he couldn't budge him. One of the biggest ever punches in history at that weight. Couldn't budge him. Hmm. So Kovalev, right, 175 guy, in the ring about one, 192. Couldn't budge Canelo. Canelo, if he fights Quigley at 168, he'll come in the ring about 188 he puts £20 on. So he'll be a lot bigger than Quigley. Quigley won't be able to budge him, right? Not, not, nobody's been able to budge Kovalev. Nobody's been able to budge Canelo, sorry. Not even Kovalev, but... So Quigley's not going to stop him, right? He's not going to get a decision on points against Canelo because he's a massive star. So all, it, all this is is people getting the money back. And this is the, the side of boxing that shouldn't be happening. If he'd earned his chance, if he'd won a, you know, a, a British, a Commonwealth, a European, and he were mandatory, if he'd earned his, if he'd earned his chance to fight Canelo, yeah, but if this fight happens, right, I'll watch it, but like that, through my eyes, because it's a shocking matchup if it happens, and all them people involved should hang their heads in shame. But if Dazone do put this on, in my opinion, it's just... Some of somebody they're going to get on cheap and they're not parting with a lot of money because maybe there might not be a lot of money in pot. I don't know, but they tried to give Billy Joe Saunders a, the the short end of money, didn't they? And then even and then even short and then tried to shorten it again. But Billy Joe's knocked two million back to fight him, so Quigley's not going to get two million. He's not a world champion, is he? He'll probably be on if Rocky Fielding. Had a world title. He only got a million, so Quigley will get less than a million. So I'd have thought somewhere in the region about 750, and his team can get their investment back, can they? But very dangerous matchmaking. Um, this is what puts me off the sport, but it is what it is, isn't it? So all right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport.